What's up, you guys? Dom here from JoJo Productions, and today let's talk about the Canon 7D. Can you get the cinematic image from it still, or should you look somewhere else? Let's go for a walk and let's find out. So the Canon 7D came out like over 10 years ago, and believe it or not, it was actually used for a lot of video productions. Saturday Night Live used it as a B camera, next to all their bigger ENG cameras, obviously. Uh, YouTubers were using this thing because it was just giving amazing quality at such a cheap price. And finally, some movies were even made with this. Uh, one big example is called Like Crazy. It is a romance drama film. So if you want to see some more cinematic applications from this camera, check out that movie. You can also check out a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube. I know that there's a bunch of short films and stuff like that. So just to prove a point that the Canon 7D did do a whole bunch of cinematic stuff and uh, I think you can still do some stuff, so let's go take a look. So I feel like the first pretty great thing about the Canon 7D is probably the sensor size. When it comes to getting a cinematic image, we know that the sensor size is usually pretty darn important. Bigger sensors obviously are gonna give us better colors, um, better dynamic range, better shallow depth of field. Well, the Canon definitely has a pretty nice sensor size of a 1.6 crop, so it's not a full frame camera, but the sensor size is still big enough to get you some good shallow depth of field, and we know that shallow depth of field is definitely part of the cinematic look. All right, so another great reason that I love to use the Canon 7D for cinematic stuff is probably the colors. I absolutely love the colors from the Canon 7D, they are just very vibrant, they are very accurate, and I think that's super important to getting the cinematic look, especially if you're first starting out, because if you're fighting a whole bunch of color science, for example, Sony, um, it's really hard to get accurate colors, and accurate colors are obviously super important, so colors from the Canon 7D, I feel like are super good, but Canon has always just had a great color science. So not surprised there. So the next super important thing when it comes to getting the cinematic images is the lenses. And I feel like Canon has some really great lenses, whether it's budget or it's really high-end lenses. Canon has always done just a really great job when it comes to lenses, whether you're on a big budget or a low budget. For example, the lens that I use the most often is the 50 millimeter 1.8. That was a great lens. It's only like $125 and it gives you a great, uh, look it gives you really nice shallow depth of field with an aperture of 1.8 but Canon also has the EF cinema lenses which is also super adaptable to just about all cameras uh, Sony red all those bigger cinema cameras Canon definitely can make lenses for just about anything also those Canon EF cinema lenses are very adaptable to your DSLRs and other SLR cameras too so another nice thing, I guess, about the Canon 7D is the file sizes. The file sizes from the Canon 7D aren't huge, which is kind of nice compared to a lot of more modern cameras, such as the GH5 that shoots 4K and like 400 megabits a second. And those are some pretty hefty files, but the GH5 shoots 4K. This shoots 1080p, so obviously the files are gonna be like four times as small. So there's that, but still, the files that come out of the 7D when it comes to file sizes are really nice, so they're not gonna take up a whole bunch of like hard drive space or anything. So that is a super nice thing, especially if you are on a budget where you cannot afford a whole bunch of storage. So file sizes are super nice from the Canon 7D. All right, so I feel like as great as the Canon 7D is and everything, um, well, this camera's not exactly perfect, so let's get into some of the downsides to the Canon 7D. Okay, so I feel like the, uh, the first downside to the Canon 7D is probably the low light performance. Low light performance compared to most cameras today is pretty darn bad. Uh, I can shoot up to about 1600 ISO and that's probably my cleanest image that I can get. You don't want to go past that because obviously it's going to get really grainy. Um, but if you take a look, actually 1600 is actually pretty average for, you know, DSLRs like this. So I guess that's kind of a toss between a good and a bad thing. But uh, compared to most cameras today, 
um, 1600 isn't too great. So uh, yeah, there's that. Low light performance, definitely not the best. So I think the next little downside thing when it comes to the Canon 7D is probably the dynamic range. And uh, well, it's not that great. I'd say it's maybe like nine or 10 stops of dynamic range and that's really about it. Dynamic range is super important in getting the filming because you wanna get a lot of details in the brightest part of the image and the darkest part of the image. That's gonna give it kind of that HDR look and that is really common when it comes to the film look. Um, so the Canon 7D is a little weak there, especially compared to most camera standards today, because uh, most cameras nowadays come with like a log profile, and the Canon 7D doesn't even have a log file. In fact, it doesn't even really have a flat picture profile. So I would say that the dynamic range is definitely a downside to the 7D. The next kind of downside about the Canon 7D is probably the file robustness. Files from the Canon 7D aren't exactly the easiest to grade. Um, that's due to the lack of dynamic range. So you can't push like the contrast super hard and you can't push those colors as hard as you'd like probably to get an extreme grade. You can, you can definitely grade the files, but you just cannot grade them as extreme as you might like to. So you just gotta kinda do a light grade. Plus you know what they say, sometimes less is more. So that's all right, but downside to the Canon 70 is definitely the file robustness. So there you go. That's what I think about the Canon 7D to get cinematic images. I think you can definitely do it. I think the 10 year old or whatever, how old camera is definitely still a really good option to get the cinematic look. As long as you have the right lenses, as long as you know about lighting, all that kind of stuff, the cinematic image is definitely more than just the camera, but the camera definitely does help. So there you go. I think it's definitely a good option, like I've said before. It does have its really good points and it does have some downsides, but for the most part, the Canon 7D will definitely get the work done. And especially for the price that you can get a used Canon 7D, it is definitely a great option for those who are starting out. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below and I will be sure to get to those. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.